habits are very powerful. I think you're here today not because you had to make a big conscious decision to be part of an idea as big as what this represents, not because there are values here that you strongly believe in, although both of those are true. I think most of us are here because it's your habit to be a part of something that matters. When something important comes and something that you can be a part of becomes an opportunity, it's your habit to raise your hand. It's your habit to make the trip. It's your habit to volunteer. And I think that's extraordinarily important. I think habits really are what culture is all about. We talk about culture in the workplace, we talk culture in society. Really, cultures are about what societies decide works for them and then what people do, and they're extraordinarily powerful. And if it is our culture to do something, it's very hard to not do that. Now, what I've been honored to be a part of for the last few years is trying to make it our culture to serve trying to make it our culture to serve others. And we can make logical arguments of why we should do this. We can give data. We can give testimony. But I think nothing is quite so powerful as giving opportunity to develop habits. I think one of the things we haven't done, really around the world, but particularly in the United States, is support giving opportunities for young people to develop the habit of service. Giving young people the experience to do something over time that then becomes ingrained in them. So now the big idea that I'm a part of in the Service Year Alliance, what we represent is trying to move back into a culture where the expectation, the culture, the habit, of service is provided to young people through an opportunity to do a year of funded, full-time service. Now, we can all do lots of things, and many of them are very, very good, but I think nothing's quite so powerful as taking a chunk of your life and dedicating it full-time to service to others. And although that service to others has huge value, I would argue the service also has huge value to the individual. I think people finish that experience a different person. And more importantly, when enough people do it, I think we come out with a different society. Suddenly, it's the habit. It's the habit of service. It's the habit of volunteering. It's not a long, conscious decision. So the idea of creating a service year is a big idea. And there are lots of naysayers around who all nod, and I talk about this all the time, and I talk about the power of the service year, and they sort of, many people will smile and go, that's a nice idea. And in their mind, they're thinking, yeah, it's too dark, too high, too dangerous, too expensive, too political, you name it. And I would argue, of course it's not. And if we can't take on ideas as fundamental, as valuable, as important as making citizenship and service to others a core part of our culture, then what can we do? If we're not doing that, what are we doing? And if we can't do that, why? And I'm deeply honored and appreciative to be a small part of it.